Well, good morning. Doing my <clears throat> morning chores, so I fed up the cows and cats and the dogs. It is um, really windy out today. It's been windy the last few days. It's supposed to get a little worse today and then uh, calm down a bit. Got a little bit of snow last night, but it's so windy it didn't go anywhere. I think we're at in the mid teens ish for temperature, and then with the wind chill, it's down below zero. You can see there's a little bit of snow right in there, but morning, Nala. But uh, the wind comes from the northeast here. below zero we had some gusts at like 60 plus miles an hour and just checking out here I don't see any we're not losing any roofing which would be bad because once that starts going you're gonna you're gonna lose it all out here we're still looking good and when you start losing your roof so the winds coming in hitting this roof so if anything it would peel but normally when you put your roof on you're gonna work into the wind so that way it doesn't catch your laps um, but what happens is it actually blows off on the lee side or the side that isn't getting hit with the wind and that's just aerodynamics right it's how airplanes fly wind comes over actually presses on this but when it blows off there it loses the pressure so right here, if you have too much air getting in underneath it, then it's, it, it'll rip those right off. And once it starts it, then pretty much just wait until it's done because you're, you're not gonna get up there and fix it. You can't handle any material like that when it's windy out. And then the other thing is to keep everything buttoned up. So uh, when I built these doors, I, I can't open these doors right now because if I did, they would rip off. So they're just sliders. Uh, but pin down here in the middle, and then you gotta either latch them to the side or pin them down there. So uh, otherwise, you'll lose the doors. You can't just. And if you forget one of these, you're gonna you'll lose them. So make sure you have have your doors latched down. Anyway, so. Just a little quick video, but uh, my my water's free. I brought this in here thinking they would drink out of that because it's easier for me to um, keep full because I don't have to go out. The other water is just around the corner, right tucked into that notch at the end of that feeder there. You can see where the water line goes down. It's just PEX pipe and it goes up goes around. Uh, this is my diversion for when I have the pigs. I drop that down in there and they can drink and stuff and I got a little I got a little shut off here so I keep water from going to that. Um, this pex is all right. You can you can hear the ice just in there. It'll freeze and thaw. It's no problem. Um, yeah, so I'm not concerned about it freezing, but it just makes it a pain in the butt uh, because I gotta haul water every day, twice a day. Uh, each cow is drinking probably just over 10 gallons of water every day, so that's good. And then in that uh, trough out there, I have a tank heater, so it doesn't freeze. So the cows. They always have access to the water and I make sure it's topped up and then the rest of the animals I just break it out uh, or if it's too thick like the uh, the cat's dish was frozen solid I just knock it out and then I put fresh water in and they got to know that they get you know whatever a few hours until it freezes again so anyway it, it's cold as heck and kind of changes my routines up mostly just having to deal with the whole water issue 
but it doesn't get below freezing enough of the time um, to make it worthwhile to either insulate this pipe or run a frost free hydrant out to where their water is uh, stuff like that so i just kind of deal with it usually it's maybe a week at a time and then you know a couple times throughout the winter where we'll stay below freezing for long enough uh, for those pipes to freeze so all righty